This is five quarterbacks I'm going to add on waivers this week. Going into week nine of the fantasy football season. And the first one's Matthew Stafford. He's not available in that many leagues. But I've seen leagues where one week he's owned and one week he's not. So he's available in 33% of leagues right now. And Stafford had a great game yesterday for fantasy purposes. Even though his team lost by 20. Stafford 336 yards. Three touchdowns and an intro and a fumble loss. But Stafford, this is what he does. If his team's down, you know, he's going to air that ball out and get a lot of garbage time fantasy points for your team in Stafford. And now he's got Minnesota coming up next week and then Washington. So two pretty good matchups for Stafford. If you're in a two-quarterback league, especially, he's a great guy to go get. But Stafford this year, he's had a good year. He's had five games over 20 fantasy points. And this week, again, he had 28 with Stafford. So I think he could put anywhere from 25 to 30 coming in Minnesota next week. So if he's out there in your league, even though he's already 67% owned, definitely go out there and get him. He'll be my first priority at quarterback. The second guy at quarterback I'm going to go out there and try to get this week is Kirk Cousins. He's back on the radar of the Minnesota Vikings. I know yesterday he only had 13 fantasy points. But he didn't have to do much with Dalvin Cook erupting for 200-plus total yards and four touchdowns. But Kirk Cousins now, with Cook back there, his job gets easier. He's got Detroit coming up and then Chicago. But I like him as a decent plug-and-play this week, his Cousins. He's had a few blow-up games this year as well. So Cousins, I think he'll be all right versus Detroit. Going into next week as a pickup. His cousins. Now the third guy I like, he's definitely a sleeper though, is Kyle Allen of the Washington football team. And so far, I've recommended getting a lot of Washington football team guys. They've played well recently. And Kyle Allen, his last two fantasy games, with 20 points in both of them. And again, he's got the Giants, who we had 20 against a few weeks ago, where he went for 280 yards, two touchdowns, and then in though. He's in an easy division. He's got some weapons that are starting to produce in Terry McLaurin, Logan Thomas, who I keep mentioning. So, Allen, he's not a bad option. And he's got a good matchup, like I said. And then he's got Detroit, Cincinnati, Dallas. So, this guy's got an easy schedule the next four weeks for Allen. And if he could get you anywhere from 18 to 25 points, that's pretty solid for a guy off the wire. The next guy's Phillip Rivers. He would have been higher on my list, but just the matchup that he has is brutal coming in next week. He's got Baltimore, but Rivers now the last two games looking like the Rivers of old. In week six before the bye, he had 33 fantasy points versus Cincinnati was Rivers with 371 and three touchdowns. And then yesterday at Detroit, 262, three touchdowns for Rivers. So his offense is starting to get together, get it going. I know T.Y. Hilton left the game, but he hasn't been a factor all year for Phillip Rivers and the Indianapolis Colts. So, Rivers, he's not bad. I think he's decent, but versus Baltimore, it's not a spot to play him next week, even though he's probably going to have to throw the ball 45, 50 times. But Rivers will be my fourth option to pick up this week. He's available in 81% of fantasy leagues, so he's definitely out there. But Rivers, he's starting to get it going in the last two weeks. And the last and final guy is Drew Locke, who I said is horrible. But he might have heard me yesterday. He had a great fantasy game in a big come-from-behind victory for the Broncos versus the Los Angeles Chargers. Drew Locke with 248 yards, three touchdowns, and an intro. He looked good. And guess what? He's got the Atlanta Falcons coming up. Another good matchup. For him, this in week 9 and in week 10 versus Vegas. So, Locke, he's only 10% owned. So, he's available in 90% of leagues. His arm looked good yesterday. Hit Noah Font. Jerry Judy finally woke up. He was the guy I said to drop. Ken Hamlet, the Sean Hamilton. So, he was spreading that ball out. Yesterday was Drew Locke. And now with two-plus matchups, he's not a bad guy to go out there and get. He could have some decent fantasy games. Like we saw yesterday from Locke versus... Pretty bad defense. So that's five quarterbacks. I'm going to try to go out there and get on the waiver wire heading into week nine.